Hi guys, somebody told that um, there are some problems with Haskell. There aren't, so I updated everything and I reboot it. And that's maybe something that's important. If you get all these Haskell updates in, because we do have a lot of packages if you install Xmona. So the query and then Haskell. Look at that, 119 packages that we have installed on our system. So I can do it the other way around, remove and don't remove anything, but 119 can be removed. So these are all needed for Xmona. Now, the video is not about Xmona, but eh, in the meantime, he has some feedback. There is no issue with Xmona. I've made videos about Xrender, Arender, tiling window managers. People want to have a tiling window manager, for example, and they want to use dual screen now desktops have everything available already in the sense that there are settings in Mate, cinnamon and so on there is these settings of that particular desktop and there is this display often it's called display or screen or monitor or something like that and you can set things to mirror you can set the frequency you can turn it around uh, and stuff like that but most importantly why need we need it often is to switch monitors monitor two to the left rather than to the right and such so switch or uh, with three monitors or four monitors switch around things so on articlinksd.com there is the any desktop meaning it's videos that apply to any desktop so 26 we have now and i made a how to start x render all the videos were, were already on youtube but lately i've been making some more and uh, I'm gonna make one more. So this is Linux. If you know how everything fits together, you can find other ways of doing exactly the same thing I'm, I'm showing you now. So the thing is that we have had in the past Arch Merge. So going back four years, I was the developer in Arch Labs. We split up. I continue to, to create my own view on things, Arch Merge. And the idea then we started with Openbox and i3, Arch Labs, and I wanted to create something easier, a, a, a nicer step in for the Linux beginner. And XFC is not difficult. It really resembles a lot. Um, well, the menu is there and the settings configuration center, you know, things like that. So it's really an easy, um, desktop to, to get to grips, to, to understand Linux, and then Openbox would be the next logical educational step, and then i3 would be the next more difficult tiling window managers, and then key bindings and all that, and figuring those things out. So that was the educational pitch, right, that we have had for years. A combo of XFCE, Openbox, and i3. The idea is that of, of the the, the um, basics is that XFC is so neat. It's stable, it's fast, and it is um, compartmentalized. Is that the word? It's it's um, cut into pieces. If you want to have the XFC power manager, you can just have it. Just that one. Just just that application. You don't need to get the complete XFC in. And that's what we did also in Arch Merge. Control alt m often launches something on your system, even though you're not on XFCE. This is XFCE. So these elements in here, some of them will work. You have always have to have your common sense with you. What are we on? We are not on XFCE. We're on Xmonad or on Qtile or on Awesome or BSPWM, but you have this one, you have this available. And the Atmex Tweak Tool, of course, it will work, right? It's just a link to the Tweak Tool and so on. So many things will work, like the Grub Customizer I see here, Quick System Info, it will all work, but not everything. So if you want to set the display, people often are, are frustrated and say, hey, that doesn't work. No, it's Xmonad. <laughs> You're trying to set something for a desktop that you don't have, right? So, ah, uh, right, common sense. Okay, cool. But there's the but. What if? And that's what we did in Arch Merge in the past. 
what if we have open box you have i3 right arch merge xfc was there and was available always on the iso arch merge xfc open box i3 what if we launch an application called if settings xf settings d that's a daemon right for xfce not much to read actually maybe in the man some information so these are the things you have to think about let's read there are things on your machine to read and then in here as well but i don't think that's an we can gonna find that it's somewhere part of some application i think the xfc4 settings part of this one and if and that's the point of the video right we want to auto start x render we want to tile I use a tiling window manager any tiling window manager i happen to be on xmonad because of a user saying something on telegram but it is for all um, tiling window managers basically and even for open box so it's okay to try it out you have to have xfc settings daemon because maybe we can do this which let's see if i'm correct because memory right settings d where is it there then pseudo pacman minus q o user bin x f settings daemon and now we ask it is xfc settings so if you want to do what i do now you install that package pseudo pacman minus s xfc4 settings i need to run xf settings d and now it's your common sense you have already looked at everything you need to know on adaclinxd.com you go over every article of the desktop you're working on right every article and in here you'll find information about where is the config of xmonad and then you go and investigate okay control h xmonads okay where do we auto start things scripts Ooh, auto start and then you open it with vim no then you open it with sublime text form thank you so all the b's are very basic or are minimal right so no real editor available and just one browser i think firefox not vivaldi not chromium not google chrome just one and a sublime text and what do you see here another solution so this is possible as well just put it in there just put it in there just say that's my setup because a render you had a look this one is this virtual box so but if you have dual screens it's gonna be one two maybe three four five screens and you just arrange them the way you like right you arrange them and if it's okay then you save everything as and it's gonna go in screen layout and often i just call it start dot sh and we save it and the configuration that you've made agi hdmi 2 to the left from the other one hdmi 1 et voila that's code that's written away and it's this particular code that you get and you copy paste back in so screen layout screen layout screen layout where is screen layout there and there so that's code that's going to work for my machine only my machine not yours so it's really is uh, oh so this one and then control c go back to auto start and you say no that's eric's setup this is my setup et voila solution number one because it is available we have an auto start why not use the auto start okay not what i wanted to explain right but i saw it take it with me solution number one what i want to explain is to tell control find xf settings d it's actually an application you can run it like discord or spotify or anything like that so i can say in the end here maybe run xf settings now the thing is 
it will apply whatever display you've saved here whatever you've saved here mirror and the frequency and all that it will change and apply it but it will do more so it will do for example also the keyboard shortcuts will be there the xfce keyboard shortcuts um, so that may intervene or, or conflict with the keyboard shortcuts that are already present so you have to take in, in in regard that particular aspect but it is fun because after a clean install you add that line and yes you have immediately the availability of the complete xfce settings here again common sense not everything will work because we're not on xfce we're on x monad but things like this the display will actually work because every single single time you boot up you're gonna launch xf settings d is gonna check oh display there display there that's the frequency that's the resolution boom and it's gonna be set so in this video now two more we've seen here also some i believe two three settings here as well via sdm script here via three ways as four times and then five and then six so you have six ways of doing this i'll add this video to the bottom and you play around with possibilities and like i said there will probably be other ways to set it because it's linux right if you figure out how things all work this is one of the things we've done in the past with arch merge with openbox i3 and xfce all right cheers